Welcome back guys to Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be making a snow effects project in Scratch. So in a lot of our past tutorials we have uh, games where we use the snow effects like our Christmas platformer. Uh, snow effect will probably make your game look a lot better and cleaner and you can use it for your Christmas themed projects. So let's get right into it. Okay so first thing what you want to do is create a new sprite, paint, and then we're going to use the fill, no outline, we're going to use white fill, no outline, we're going to hold down shift, so we're going to zoom in, hold down shift so you can get a perfect circle, uh, we're going to try and make this 11 by 11, okay, so here you have our uh, snow, so we can, we can rename this sprite to snow, snow, oops, sorry, snow, and then for the code for the snow, we're going to start off with the white green flag clicks, we're going to set the ghost effects, we're going to set the ghost effects, set ghost effects, and to 100, so we're going to make it hide in the beginning, and then we're going to go to this position, we're going to go to 0, uh, Y220, so it's going to be somewhere up here, so then we want the snow to start like up here, and we're going to forever loop, forever, uh, and then we're going to make a variable for the sprite only, so we're going to make a variable, uh, for the sprite only, we're going to name it uh, win. And notice how I put it in lowercase because for the sprite only, we're going to set the variable win to pick random negative one to one. So, what this win thing is, this does is to make the snow kind of sway around, like it shifts around. Like in real life, how there's wind, it makes the snow move around in the air. So, we can hide the variable. And then we're going to get a create a clone of myself under here and then we're gonna put a wait a little delay before we uh spawn in the clones we're gonna wait pick random let's do 0 0.05 uh, 0 0.005 to 0 0.01 seconds so like it won't look like there's too much snow but it's just enough and we can just add a black backdrop so you can see the snow better so actually just paint a backdrop let's just get the black Black color, just gonna draw a box. Draw a box. Alright, good enough. So now you can actually see the uh, snow. Okay, so next, what we wanna do is when we start as a clone. When I start as a clone, we're gonna set the size. So we're gonna make some snowflakes a little bigger, some snowflakes smaller. So we're gonna just gonna pick random. So we're gonna set the size. I'm sorry, not this one. Set size percent right here sorry I didn't see that uh, we're gonna do pick random 60 to 100 so some snowflakes are bigger than others and then we're gonna get a go to so we're gonna go to we're gonna go to x negative random 240 240 to 240 so the snow will spawn from this corner to this corner and we're gonna keep the y at 220 okay next we want to get a repeat so we're gonna get repeat four times and then we're going to change this ghost effect by negative 20. So this is just to make it more clear. So we're going to change ghost effects by negative 20. And then next we're going to get a repeat. So I'll show you in a second why we need this repeat 2 right here. So we're going to put a repeat 2, change y by negative 5. Negative 5, so this is the actually making it come down. And we're going to change the x by the wind. So change x by the wind. And then we're going to get a repeat until. So repeat until. Touching edge. Touching edge. And then we're going to change the Y. We just duplicate this part. And then repeat 10 times. We're going to repeat. Repeat 10 times. We're going to change the ghost effect by 10. So this is going to make it slowly fade out as it goes down. So we're going to change the ghost effect. When it touches the edge, it's going to make it slowly fade out. Change the ghost effect by 10. And then we're going to delete the clone with that. Okay, so now when we run it, you have a snow effect. So why do we need this repeat? I'll show you what happens when you don't have it. Because the snow is already touching the edge, we have to put this or else this happens. All the snow is just disappearing up there because there is no, it's already touching the edge. So we just want to put this repeat two times. 
just to get it off the edge before we start off this part. So when you put this back in, you can see, as you can see, the snow comes down and disappears and touches the bottom or the edge. And one last thing, if you want to make it uh, disappear when it touches another sprite, we can do or. So we're going to do either touching the edge or touching the cat. So this can be useful in your projects where you want it to touch another sprite and disappear. So we run it. As you can see, the snow disappears when it touches the cat. All right. So that's it for today's tutorial on the snow effects. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video.